It's the NBA brought to you by 2K Sports on this very special Easter Sunday. Here we go. Our broadcast team tonight on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. On the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got the visiting team facing the home team. talking about this what you appreciate about this matchup the team first mindset on both sides very unselfish and we're gonna see guys moving the ball and Kevin they play for one another that's why these clubs rack up so many assists now here's Morant and stolen by Bull the drive by Ball and Ball slams it in the defense playing Lonzo Ball to pass that off. Instead, he takes it all the way. Pass to Harris. Back to Morant. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Now, here's Tucker. Right now averaging about five points a game. And finished off by Morant. I'm trying to think of someone who gets off the ground quicker than Morant. It's an exclusive list, I'll tell you. Now, here's Ball. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And DeJounte Murray gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. We play just over a minute here in the first. Pass the bowl. Launches it. They get the rebound. Now that's leadership. Tatum reads shot trajectories well and pounces on opportunities to grab second chance points. Now here's Murray. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now he averages about nine points a game. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Tatum, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. John Morant in the open floor. This guy's speed is next level, and he can finish. P.J. Tucker. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to Murray. Over in the corner, Wood. Down to five on the shot clock. Harris outside. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who spoke with Tyron Liu. Well, Kevin, he spoke about the strategy coming in of working the ball inside, emphasizing that throughout the game. That's where they think they have the biggest advantage. And they think they can score inside with consistency. We will see how long that holds up. Guys. All right, thank you, David. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Reliable three-point shooting is so important. Lonzo works hard to deliver that for the team. Now here's Morant. Six points for him. And Morant throws it down. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. 
And we have an intentional foul there, GA. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Pass to Harris. And you love how Tatum uses that long wingspan to really distract shooters. Great job contesting without fouling on that one. Now here's Morant. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. And that's good. Tobias Harris for three. Tobias Harris. It's all knotted up. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Two eight remaining. Two eight. Here's Ball. He's got five. Pass to Bull. Let's it go from deep. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. And finished off by Morant. Hey, ducks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Oh, Ball. DeJounte. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. This is what you want to see more of from Lonzo, being more aggressive with his own offense and drawing fouls. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. And finished off by Morant. Elite ball handler who can hit from every spot on the floor. Morant lighting them up tonight. It's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Yeah, that's a tough call for the ref to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. You know, based on the response of the fans, I'd have to say they disagree with the officials on that one. First quarter of the game. Here is outside. Morant outside. That three off the mark. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Tatum. That shot misses. Some solid defense from Harris. Morant outside. Driving the lane. Awaiting foul. Well, Smitty, after his sensational rookie season, I think people knew that John Moran had an unlimited ceiling. Kevin, now we know it's not just high. It's through the roof. Ja was rookie of the year, and he keeps up in his game. We could, Kevin, be looking at an all-time great. Beaten inside. The three from Tatum. Back to Jones. Second chance shot. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. And here's Morant. He's got 13. Driving in. And here's Harris from the arc. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And a high scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Up by one. 15. Well, we hope you're enjoying your Easter as we are here as we get underway once again. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Hey, 
Why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start, you want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. Aside from the rim runners in this league, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. Hands to Harris. Out to Morant. And then Morant slams it in. As creative as they come, John Morant has a style that's specifically his. In the corner, Tatum with it. Into the lane. Out to Ibaka. Another shot. Off the left rim and out. And well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sidelines about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. And Teron Liu wants a timeout. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big games. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. And it's Gary Payton the second with the foul. First personal foul. That's his first foul. Team foul. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Pass to Murray. Inside. And it's Morant missing. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. There's Ball with the three. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Morant drives in. And stolen by Tatum. And now Ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. In the corner, Abaco with it. No good on the three. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving him in with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. And the rise of Tatum, boy, it has been fun to watch. And many believe he's nowhere close to being done improving yet. Launches a three. The shot, no good. His shot's just, it's not there right now with his team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Here's Moran. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Personal foul. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdown. Hey, Craig, talking about the great Ja Morant, this guy is just flat out fun to watch. Well, Jaw's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others, dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. He's shooting free throws, number four in five years. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone team. Both shots good from the strike. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Now Morant. He's got 17. Five to shoot. 
Ant Harris wide open. He shoots. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. Back to ball. And ball slams it in. The hops of Alonzo Ball gets up high to slam it in. I love it. And they double up Morant. And Tucker has it in the corner. Pass to Morant. And finished off by Morant. Wow, the vision of P.J. Tucker made that play possible. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will cost them the possession. Checking in. And so now a timeout called by Doc Rivers. Home team. One fifty-three left in the first half. Murray outside. Over in the corner. Wood. Murray, no good. Outside Tatum. In the corner, Abaka with it. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Serge Ibaka has gone through a lot of roles since he's entered the league. Now pretty much a shot-blocking stretch four. Second free throw, no good. Tatum a screen. Oh, Tatum in position. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Man, and Tatum gets up on these alley-oops. Has a great grasp of when to attack and exploit the opponent. Harris outside. Morant with a wide open look. Misses the three. And the dunk by Tatum. That's a good look by Kevin Love. The decision making with the ball in his hands makes him different than other fours. Morant outside. Over in the corner, Wood. Outside Tatum. Over to the wing. Pass to Love. To the inside. Tatum no good. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Harris outside. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Substitution for the away team. Ball, ball. 16 seconds left from the first half of basketball. In the corner. Tatum with it. And there's the drive. And the dunk by Tatum. And how about that show of confidence from Tatum? He really excels at playing above the rim and taking that one home. We've reached the end of the first half of play. Up by 10. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. To the paint. And the dunk by Tatum. And every year, Tatum evolves. Tonight, he's given us a taste of everything he's been working on. Over in the corner, Wood. And Tucker has it in the corner. Pocket six. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Tucker's got himself on the board with three there. Offensively, Tucker's role is a spot-up jump shooter. Peyton, that's good. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Here's Wood, and finished off by Wood. Great vision by John Moran. Has the passing talent to average double-digit assists. 
Well, Christian Wood has shown himself capable of being a 20 and 10 guy, but now he's looking to show he can be a winner as well. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Harris outside. Off target from three-point range. And you hear about impacting winning. How does Wood, Greg, take the next step in that regard? Well, Kevin, we know he can make shots and block shots. I think it's just about consistency and decision-making. And, and then defensively, I think... And Teron Liu wants a timeout. Here's Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. This is why Lonzo Ball was drafted number two overall. Elite vision and size. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard, that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. It's a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Morant scanning the floor. Six to shoot. Pass to Murray. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Checking in for the away team, Derek Jones Jr. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. To the middle, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. Morant with it. 21 points in the game. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. The wide open look here for Wood. There's three pointers off the mark. And it's Jones finishing it off. Unselfish play by Tatum. Getting it to a shooter in rhythm instead of chasing his own shot. Back to Morant. And Morant throws it down. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Ball. 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 It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Home team. Ball's got his first three points of the game. And the big fella knows how to score the basketball. Bowles' understanding of when to look for his is next level. And so now a timeout called by Doc Rivers. <laughs> We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Morant outside. And he drives in. The quickness of John ja Morant is what makes his drives deadly. Where did he go? Now, here's Ball. 12 points for him. Out to Ibaka. A three-pointer is right on target. Buck has got seven points in the game. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. 
outside for Murray. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. A minute 42 left in the third quarter. Morant drives in. Harris outside. Five on the clock. When we talk about Lonzo's feel for the game, it's at both ends. Excellent defense there. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. And good on the three point shot. Three points. Caldwell Pope's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pass to Tucker. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Down low. Great communication on the alley oop. And that log came from a mile away, and it was right on the money. Talk about a long-distance connection. Now, here's Tucker. And nothing is falling for him right now. Here's Ball. 12 points for him. Outside, Jones. They get it back. It's Jones on the wing. And the wing jumper offline. Here's Morant. And Ball with the block. When you mix Ball's length with his timing, the result is a quality defensive play. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Offline with his three. It's deflected. Stolen by Ball. And Teron Liu oh, wants a timeout. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Five seconds left here in the third quarter. Everyone knows ball plays with a pass-first mindset. So you have to give the defense something else to think about. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Your home team. Delivering the blowout. The away team, 59. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And here's Morant. Pass to Murray. Fires the three. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Murray's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Ball feeling it out a bit. To the paint. Here's Payton. And Payton throws it down hard. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk. No question. Away team foul. And the call Lonzo will be against Lonzo Ball. Second personal foul. That's foul number two for him. Team foul. And they double up Morant. Here's Tucker. Drains it from beyond the arc. Defense has to be careful with Tucker from range. He's got reliable accuracy. Ball. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. That one on Harris. That's good from Ball. When Lonzo Ball is healthy, He's effective. A multi-talented point guard, in my opinion, with great size. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And it's Gary Payton, the second, with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Substitution for the away team. Morant outside. Over in the corner, Wood. Left side, Harris. It's stolen by Jones. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. What an athletic move by Tatum. Going up like nothing could stop him. And they double up Morant. 
Back to Murray. The tray. Hangs on the trifecta. Murray's got six in the quarter. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. And Jones has it in the corner. The kick out to Ball. To the middle. And Ibaka slams it in. The aggressive side of Surge coming through as Surge himself at the rim. And they double up Morant. And here's Wood outside. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Away team. Rebound by Murray. To the wing on the left. Back to Tucker. Here is a screen. A nice shot by Tucker. 12 straight points off of three pointers, and the D looks shell shocked. Rebacca right side. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Throughout the evening, he's got to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Here's Moran. Somehow misses the two-handed jam. And Tatum launches it from deep. They grab their own miss. Lonzo Ball. And Ball stays with it. Pretty tall for his position. It's nice to see Ball use his height to create second-chance opportunities. Moran bats for two. And Tatum pulls it down. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Morant with the steal. Steve, we know lots of front offices build teams purely around player skills and statistical lines. So that being said, just how important is chemistry on the court and that cohesion? It's a must. You can achieve a lot with chemistry. Building a beautiful culture, those are the teams that win championships. This is Ball playing big, getting into the lane and being physical. Give us more of this. Pass to Wood to stop the run. Knocks down the three ball. You just love how reliable he is night in and night out. His offense is there. Outside, ball. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Morant with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Harris, good. Well-conceived play. The pass is right on time. Tobias catches in rhythm. Difficult set to defend. Outside, ball. Pass to Tatum. For the three, it's hauled in by DeJounte Murray. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Fifty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now ball. Shot clock at six. And Jones has it in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. Morant with it. Twenty-six seconds left in the fourth. Harris outside. Back to Morant. A three ball. A three. No good. Shot missing. 
And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. <laughs>